Hi, my name is Vasco Ribeiro and I am about to show how to install the Mach 150 Focuser Adapter. This is the adapter, the screws, the 42 teeth pulley, the 20 teeth pulley, and the 160mm GT2 bell. With the telescope in the vertical, unscrew the three screws that hold the knob plate. Put the adapter over the knob plate, checking hole alignment. Use the same Allen screws to hold the adapter in place. Tighten the screws evenly, until the adapter is firmly in place, and the knob centralized. Avoid excessive torque, since you may damage the telescope threads, or break the adapter. Insert the 42 teeth pulley in the focuser knob. The adapter is made of PETG and has nuts inside. Remove the 5mm Allen screws. Having the 20 teeth GT2 pulley already attached to the focuser motor, place it over the adapter and screw it. Don't forget the screw washers. Make sure that the 42 teeth pulley have the teeth to the telescope side and then, with the screws still loose, insert the belt. Adjust belt tension as required and tighten the screws. Let's test the motor focuser. Remember, you may slide the belt sideways to allow manual focusing, for example, when changing from eyepiece to a camera. And no let's test with live image. Please take note on your control pad the in and out focus directions. Focusing is achieved with no vibrations, this being more noticeable at higher magnifications. Here we see a geodesic marker at 1 km with an APS-C sensor on prime focus. When changing focus direction there is some mirror shift a feature common to Maxuta of Cassegrains. This adapter is economic, light, short, doesn't require telescope modifications and is easily convertible to manual. It is easy to adapt a camera and does not make the telescope back heavy. You may also connect the motor to a computer via an electronic adapter. The motor are like Orion Q Focus or Skywatcher Electronic Focuser which you need to buy separately.